Good luck today, Gwyneth. It was the Hollywood A-lister versus the small-town retired optometrist. Gwyneth Paltrow accused of plowing into Terry Sanderson on a Utah ski slope. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. Paltrow won the case. Now, nine months later, we're hearing the yes. untold story okay. of the trial. The new documentary, Gwyneth versus Terry, the ski crash trial, claims the star's lawyers turned the optometrist's three daughters against each other. Gwyneth Paltrow's lawyers were absolutely vicious, and they were no more vicious than when it came to Terry's daughters. Essentially, they turned this guy's family against him. Jenny didn't talk to your dad for 13 years after getting out of the house after high school. Is that true? No. But juror Samantha Emery tells Inside Edition she didn't see it that way. I don't think her lawyers were unusually vicious. I mean, lawyers are lawyers for a reason, and you have to be aggressive in the courtroom. And I think we all know this, that they were just doing their job. The defense played this animation, depicting Paltrow's version of the accident. On the stand, she testified she first thought she was being sexually assaulted when Sanderson hit her from behind. I was skiing, and two skis came between my skis forcing my legs apart, and then there was a body pressing against me, and there was a very strange grunting noise. I do think her story was a little strange, um, but right, it's one of those things where you can't make that stuff up. In the end, she says, the jurors concluded the evidence proves Sanderson ran into Paltrow, but it was a difficult decision. It was just tough because, right, we felt sorry for Terry. I mean, he is a human, but you can't let sympathy skew your decision.